you know, go on the road and open up and, you know, an emotional group in DePaul and open a new building and take some punches from them and uh, to kind of find a way to win. I thought our defense was really good the whole game. And then eventually we got into some good offensive rhythm. And I think an older group that has won together kind of showed up the last 10 minutes of the game. So something to build on for us first game of the season. What kind of stuff is that for TJ to come they, out and play the way he did? Yeah, he's been great in practice, Tom. You know, he stats out right behind Bonzi Colson, you know, a lot of times. And uh, But he's a fearless guy. And I always felt, you know, he played, last year we play him 12 minutes and he'd score eight. You know, he'd, he'd just score. And so you give him extended minutes, I thought, um, it would come around, but he's uh, great for him to get more confident. What did you think of DJ's first game? Fabulous. You know, um, we got a lot to work with right there. I've been excited about him since the first day of practice. Not your normal looking freshman, obviously, physically. Um, what has helped him? He's the only freshman, and he's played with old guys now for five months. And they've taught him how to slow down and how we play, and, and I just thought his buckets were big buckets today. And um, so for him, to, you know, to play on the road and do well, I'm, I'm very pleased, and I think that should be a confidence builder for him. Coach, what do you think about the atmosphere? Great atmosphere. You know what, you know, I, I saw Dave last night, we were coming into practice, and this is a beautiful facility. It's probably 20 years overdue, you know? I told Dave that, he didn't comment, by the way. He couldn't. Um, but um, this is what DePaul needs. And, and uh, when you know, they reached out a couple years ago, I, I thought, even though you're not supposed to open on the road and you're not supposed to challenge yourself, I said, you know, it's bigger than that. DePaul and, and Notre Dame go way back, and, and we should come over here. And, and um, um, you know, we, we love that we got the first win in the building like we did at Illinois' new building. So we kind of like opening buildings in Illinois. <laughs> Where are you going to watch the football game, Coach? You know, uh, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I will probably get home in time to go. I'm going to go home and put my feet up because we have a game Monday. Um, but I know we're excited to watch the Irish put it on the Canes tonight. Put it in the bank. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes, there's no question. You know, um, they've got some shooting now. You know, when, one of the things that was different as we were preparing for him, they, they you know, and, and Struis didn't shoot it well tonight, but he's a heck of a shooter. He's a big time shooter, and he's gonna. But they've got some guys that can, you know, they've always been able to drive you, and they, we had a hard time keeping them out of the paint, and we got into foul trouble a little bit. We, they got to the bonus, but now they can get out. He used to be able to pack the lane up. Now they can kick it out and make some shots, and they're going to make more of those. Um, but I got to believe this facility and everything. There's a feel good uh, kind of vibe around the program that uh, the kids get to play in there. That was a great crowd. Was it sold out? It must have been close. Yeah, that was neat. What did you think of Devin Gage? Very impressed um, physically. Um, he, again, it's his first time, right? This was his first start as a starting point guard. He's only going to get better. I mean, he gave Matt Farrell a tough time until about the last 10 minutes of the game. You know, Matt couldn't do stuff on him, and he turned him over a couple times, and he drove him. I think he's a really good young guard. He's only going to get better. Coach, you, just, you just mentioned Matt Farrell. How many guys have you had in your career that get hot like that? Yeah, he's a fearless guy. And we, you know, the one thing about us tonight was neat. There's a there's a mental toughness and a belief about this nucleus that they're going to find a way to do it. I love the fact that even though we weren't making shots, we didn't let it affect our defense. Other teams I have had have done that. We kept digging in and guarding, and then eventually we got on a heck of a run. I didn't know we made eight threes in a row. But, um, you know, eventually it's going to kick in. Matt Farrell sets a great toughness tone. Bonzi started the season well after being a preseason All-American. What do you expect from him coming into this senior year? You know, uh, sky's the limit. Um, I, thought, uh, I thought he took good shots tonight. We got him stuff in the post. He drove it a little bit. I thought he passed. I thought his defense was excellent, and his defensive rebounding was fabulous with 13 rebounds. Um, you know, he, he, he lets the game come to him. I think he's understood that it's a long game, and if you're not getting shots for a while, just don't force it. We'll come back to you. And I thought we came back and kind of found him at, at the right time. 
He's such a unique player in terms of size and skill set. Do you think that's hard for other teams to prepare for? Very hard. You know, it's, he, he's, he's tough if you put a center on him, you know, because he can step out and he's a little quicker and he can shoot over him with those long arms. And if you put a forward on him, then he can kind of post you and overpower you. Um, you know, I don't think he made a three tonight. Um, he, uh, he didn't, well, he didn't, where did he? Over three. Yeah, over three. He didn't make one tonight, but that, that's something that's part of his uh, arsenal as well. Mike, you talked about you putting the feet up. What's the schedule for the players for Monday? Yeah, no, we'll come in and practice tomorrow, and we got to get right into Mount St. Mary's preparation. I love that we're going to get to play again. It'll be our home opener, so I hope our home crowd will be excited and, and welcome us in, in opening night. But we'll get a little bit of rest. We won't practice long. And we got two more games to, you know, try and get better before we head to Maui for an unbelievable experience. Four guys played over 35 minutes. How deep do you expect to go in tighter games? Well, the old four guys playing a lot of minutes, you know. <laughs> When, it, when it's time to go for the juggler, it's funny how that bench shortens. Um, you know, tonight I felt our men had to win the game for us, and I thought DJ Harvey they dragged along with. Um, there'll be nights when those minutes will be a little bit different, and uh, I thought Johnny Mooney gave us some good stuff, and he made a big three. You know, Elijah did, but we downshifted a little bit too, and we played DJ Harvey as our second big, and that helped us offensively some, but. Those key guys, we'll get them rest and keep them in shape because they're going to play a lot. <laughs> Mike Fluger struggled a little bit offensively, yeah. but contributed in other areas. What did you see from him? Yeah, I think he was so exhausted chasing Struess off of stuff. You know, he chased him into a poor shooting. For, but, I mean, they run a lot of stuff for him. And so by the time he got the ball, I don't know if his legs were, you know, much there. But that's what's great about Rex Fluger. He sacrifices himself for us to win. You know, he... He's turning down shots because his legs really aren't there because he knows he's got to chase Struess again on the next possession. And he's always been a winner, and his attitude was great about it. And cut back on the turnovers in the second half. How, how big was that going in the Yeah, game? yeah, we were better with it. I thought we got a little bit better movement. We didn't force some plays in the second half. And I think they got a little tired, you know, and, and that last 10 minutes, they got a little tired, and, and, and then we're just, you know, we're just a little older. You know, and they're they're a little they're a little more inexperienced. This is new to them, and and we're a little bit older. And and, and I'm really thrilled of of how we kind of figured out how to get it done on the road. Thank you.